What's good everyone, what is good? Welcome back to the channel with your two of course, Machiavelli. Hope you all are having a great day today. And today we're back with another Sims Force Speed Build. And today, yeah, actually, you know, we're not even talking about that because y'all, we are done. This will be the last top, this will be the last part, you know, I think. Hopefully I can fit all of this drama in one part. But we're pretty much there, y'all. We're pretty much at the end. Um, the last part we left off was at episode 85. We literally have five episodes to go, but in the last, no, actually, yeah, it was 86. But literally, there was so much stuff that happens in the next few episodes. I know we're getting it done, but we're gonna jump straight into it. So, anyways, um, so at this part, um, Vaughn and Rebecca are rekindling their relationship. Uh, our girl, hold up. Hold up, give me a second. I just don't know when the altercation happens. But yeah, our girl, um, our girl Valen is going through some ish right now because her brother just dropped some truth on her. And she wasn't ready to hear that. And I think Vi, broken marriage. Is this it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, hold on. When did the confront, like, when did they confront, when, when, when did she confront him? Was it this part? I think so. Sorry, there's just so much that happened. Okay, yeah, there we go. Okay, this, okay, this is where she confronts him. Okay, there we go. Um, anyways, let's go back. So, I'm figuring this out as we go. So, yeah, Vaughn's doing that, and Valen is, no, yeah, Viola is waiting for the test results to come back to find out if Asha is the father or not. So, at this point, um, Vi is kind of, like, trying to put up a front, you know? She's trying to show that she loves Asha, even though Asha can kind of tell there's, like, a divide between them. You know, she's been sleeping in another bed. She's been, you know, um, mostly hanging with the kids. They haven't really talked. They haven't really even kissed, you know? It's just been, it's been very awkward between them the last few days. And so, um, the day she actually did find out the... So, what happened was... She got a call in the morning and pretty much telling her that she got this. Okay, how's it going again? Okay, she gave the test to Jarvis because Jarvis, because like, again, Jarvis knows everybody. So Jarvis pretty much had the test results. And so Jarvis called her one day and pretty much told her that the baby was his, in fact, is a 99.99% is a chance that he is the father. Um, so uh she 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 was pissed like she was so mad at this point she had to confront him she had to like she was just mm, she was just she's mad because like she has nothing but loved this man treated him ama not amazingly like she has been like she has her doubts you know she probably shouldn't have kicked him out the house but she was going through it you know she she has trust issues and like she has trust issues and she couldn't deal with him doing that to her. She was afraid that he was going to do it again. And like like said, so done, she, he went ahead and cheated on her. Literally, that moment that he, that happened, he, he went ahead and ran into some other girl's arms and ended up getting her pregnant. And so she was bad. So she went ahead and confronted him about it. She confronted his ass about the whole thing because she was pissed off. She went there. She went to him and said, these are the photos. Literally, Lily said, let's go out on a date. She literally told him, we're going on a date, get dressed, we're going to go somewhere. So she ended up getting dressed and everything, and she ends up taking him to the park where she and, like, the photos were taken and where they would always meet and says, I know what you're doing here, and you've been cheating on me, here are the photos, this and that. And then he goes, like, you've been following me? What do you mean you've been following me? Like, what? This and that. Like, he was just, he was just very confused. He's like, yeah, I caught you. You've been with another girl behind my back. How could you? Like she was going in on him, and then he goes ahead and tries to flip the switch and say, "Well, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be doing this. You never kicked me out. You knew I had nowhere to go. You knew that I had, I had no one to rely on. This is like my first time in this country, and you abandoned me. What do you expect to do? I needed somebody. You weren't there for me. Like if, like if you were, t if you really loved me, you wouldn't have kicked me out like that. We would have talked through this, and we would have, we'd have solved this like adults, you know. If you wouldn't have done that, I wouldn't have done this. Like." you don't see the problem like you're the problem here like literally this is what he said like asha was like you're the problem you're so sporadic and you always throw that oh it's my money in my face like how do you think it makes me feel like we're supposed to be married but you don't treat me like a husband like you're treating me exactly the because again 
she's he goes, you're treating me exactly the way your your mother treated your father. And see how that turns out? Do you want that to be honest? Like, come on, you need to change your ways. Like, he literally fifth the switch and accused her for his infidelities. Literally. He, he's pretty much stating that the reason why he cheated was because she couldn't, you know, treat him properly. And the fact that she kicked him out and he had nowhere to go. So he had to run into somebody else's arms. And it kind of, like, it kind of worked. Like, honestly, she kind of felt bad. She's like, I probably shouldn't have done that. Like, he was going in on her. And she kind of just took it, honestly. And so she was like, was it really my fault? And she was, like, questioning herself. And he, he, she was just so confused at that point. It was, it was something else. Like, I don't know how he did that. I don't know how he made it, how he made her, him cheating on her, her fault. But he did. Say so they went home that day. They kind of made up, trying to say that. And she kind of said like, "I'll do better," and then he said, "I'll do better." Like the hell, it was, it was, it was, it was total madness. And so she went home and she pretty much called her sister because her sister wanted to know. And so she called Valen and told Valen that you know he's a father and that they're gonna work it out. And Valen was pissed off, saying, "What's the frig's wrong with my siblings? Like why are y'all such idiots? Like these people are treating you like garbage." And you're just sitting there taking it. Like, know your worth. So, of course, Val was pissed off now at, um, and pissed off at, um, Vi for, like, giving her the chance because she sees that. Like, it's just, it's just, she's, like, ever since the first game, like, first time, um, Asha, like, tried to flirt with, um, their cousin, she has not liked him. Maybe because she has such a bad past with guys, she just knows a douche from the get-go. And this is so, no one's the sad thing about this whole situation. I loved Asha. I really wanted them to be endgame. So if you're thinking, oh, I put like all the like the romance, I didn't do any of it. Like none of it. I ha I didn't I didn't make him flirt with that with um the cousin. I didn't make him get a side piece. The only thing I might have done was get the girl pregnant, which was actually an accident. I just I just I just went literally she was on birth control not birth control, but she he literally wrapped it up. Um I have the wicked I have the wonderful whims mod and they have, you know, cons in the game and I had him wrap it. And she's still not getting pregnant. So again, it wasn't really my fault. I, I literally did it once and it, it happened. So again, nothing I did was like, again, I really wanted them to work out. I loved Asha. When, when, when they first introduced Asha in the game and I saw how much her, him and Valen Viola like, connected, I wanted them together. Like I really did. So it hurt me when I found out. Like I was really mad because honestly, all my sins just get cheated on. Literally, they like none of my sins relationship works. None of them. Like it, it it's a straight mess. Like Valen's life is a mess. Vaughn's life's a mess. Viol like Viol's as a mess. That um Viviana's life's a mess. It's just it's just one big mess. And and Verity, the youngest sister, is a single mother right now. It's it's something else. But anyways, that's what's going on with the life of the Pearsons. And so that happened. They went home. Valen was pissed off. Valen just, I don't know. She was just like, you know, I'm just going to focus on work. Like, she, I think at that point, she just bunned relationships. Like, relationships, she sees how a relationship has done, like, her brother, how they've done her, her sister. She just doesn't want that. Like, marriage is just not for her. So she kind of says, you know what, I'm done. I'm just going to take a break, take a break from that, and I'm just going to focus on my work. I'm going to go out, have fun, but no relationships for me. You know, type of thing. And then the next day, this is, like, my fa one of my favorite episodes um the divorce happens uh you would think it would be uh vi viola and asha's but it's not the people getting divorced are rebecca and bonds let me oh my god how much time do you have left do you have enough time to okay i don't think you have enough time to tell you guys the whole backstory it's gonna take like a whole part to do it so i'm gonna skip it and on the last part, I'm going to go ahead and um, just pretty much relay the whole backstory on that whole plan because I loved it. I came up with it and it was beautiful. It just worked out perfectly. But um, I just want to go ahead and give you guys a big thank you because we reached the end. We just passed episode 800, not 800, 88, episode, like 88. Um, next, episode, next part is going to be 89 and 90. And then Life of the Pearsons is back. Um, hold on. I'm sorry about that. But yeah, Life of the Pearsons is going to be back next month. I am so excited, y'all. I can't believe we're actually done it. Oh, yeah. So again, just a relay of stuff that was not supposed to happen that happened. Fun fact. Uh, what's it called again? Kiko. Kiko was not supposed to happen. 
Mm -hmm. That's funny. Uh, if you guys, I guess you know Kiko. It, it was literally he was actually supposed to get with a girl named Cell. So what happened was I gave Cell a makeover, and then Cell gave Cell a makeover. I said I'll just give a bunch of makeovers because I was at the time, and he ended up not finding this girl Cell that I want on um, Selly. But her name's Cleo. He ended up not liking this girl named Cleo anymore. But he ended up really liking a girl named um liking um he didn't like cleo's makeover but he really liked kiko's makeover and again kiko they actually met well the first time he went to um japan or snowy snowy escape whatever the place was called um and he did not like her at all like there was no vibe there and i gave her makeover and somehow there was a vibe and he did like her and so that was actually not supposed to happen fun fact but it happened Another thing that wasn't supposed to happen that happened was, um, what's called again? Dez. Dez was what happened. Dez, Dez was not part of the story. Um, I did actually, was he actually was a part of the story when we first got, like, when, he, when she first met him and she first liked him. I did want them together, but after she got with Hayden, I actually didn't want them together that much. I only went for it because after I found out that he was single and I just I was very curious to see if there was actually something there and it happened and Dez became and again Dez cheating with um Dez cheating with the mom with um Camila was again not supposed to happen Dez and fun fact here's this is a story like this Dez Dez and um Zeon's storyline was actually supposed to happen um Dez is actually supposed to be broke and then um and then Valen was actually supposed to get a job and they were going to live together and they're going to be broke together and she was going to pay back his debt and then it was going to be like this whole big dysfunctional relationship but it never happened because of that whole situation mm -hmm. what else did happen that was supposed to happen hmm. I don't even remember there's just so much um what else the baby yes the baby <laughs> Oh, you remember, you know, Sunshine, Valen's, um, Valen's, Valen's son that she gave up for adoption. He wasn't supposed to happen either. <laughs> um, I actually did not want, I didn't want a teen pregnancy in the game. Fun fact, I really didn't. I really wanted, um, my Sims to finally have non, a not on one teen pregnancy in the game. I wanted them to actually, like, you know, grow up and actually, you know, become parents normally. I wanted, like, an actual, like, man. If you guys watch my game, I normally do, like, baby then marriage. I really want to do marriage then baby, which, as you can see, it's not it's, it's not working out too well in my game right now. So, yeah, there was just a, there was actually even more stuff that was supposed to happen that happened in the game. But, yeah, that's a little bit. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. This is Peace Out Later. I love y'all. Peace.